For generations, the search for extraterrestrial life has stood at the forefront of scientific exploration. Now, with the deployment of the formidable James Webb Space Telescope, NASA may be on the verge of an unprecedented breakthrough, potentially sooner than anticipated. Situated approximately 120 light-years away from Earth within the habitable zone of its star there's a planet called K218b which has long held scientists' fascination for its unique. First spotted in 2015, K218b quickly became the center of attention as the presence of water vapor was detected within its atmosphere. The recent uptick in curiosity surrounding this specific exoplanet stems from the latest data regarding its atmospheric makeup, which has presented some intriguing anomalies. For starters, the detection of methane hints at the possibility of life, as it's often regarded as a potential biological marker. Alongside this, there's a significant presence of carbon dioxide and a striking lack of carbon monoxide, creating a profile that has certain parallels with the atmosphere of our own Earth. Yet, perhaps the most captivating finding is the potential identification of dimethyl sulfide DMS, a gas that, on our planet, is typically produced by certain types of algae in the oceans. Should this observation be confirmed, it might point to a direct indication of life on another world, perhaps one resembling a vast aquatic planet, colloquially termed an Hycean planet. Drawing on the information provided by the Webb Telescope, we can speculate that K2-18b might boast an extensive ocean beneath its thick hydrogen-rich atmosphere, creating conditions for its waters to be somewhat warmer than those on Earth. Well, the cherry on the cake was the discovery of methane, which is particularly interesting because it doesn't normally persist in the atmosphere for longer than two or three years because of solar radiation, so there must be something that is replenishing it in the atmosphere, and that, my friends, raises the question of whether this is circumstantial evidence for the existence of life outside our planet. Well, Professor Niku Madhusudan, an astrophysiast from the University of Cambridge, has spearheaded the research on planet K218b and uncovered intriguing details about its makeup and atmospheric characteristics. April the 26th, the telescope once again turned towards the planet and observed it for several minutes to cross-check data from the first observation. this morning actually so so it has already done it uh, early this morning uh, so we have the observations they're beaming um, uh, in right now uh, so we're waiting for the data to come to us and the analysis will start anytime now if we do detect dms it does put it basically at the top for potential signs of habitability professor madhusudan told the times what's interesting here is that scientists have not been able to prove that dms can be produced in the absence of living beings the researchers are more than 50 percent confident that dms is present in the planet's atmosphere as per the observations a team to nasa research center and the university of washington approached this question by using two sets of models with jwst data the the first model describes rocky planets with surface oceans with and without life while the other set describes gaseous planets without a surface and without life both the models predict the planet's photochemistry as in the chemical reactions in the atmosphere driven by photons from the host star and also the climate of the exoplanet the team found that K218b is unlikely to be a lifeless water world because such a planet wouldn't have enough methane in its atmosphere to match the JWST observations. Indeed, the concept of a water-rich exoplanet teeming with microbial life, particularly methane-generating organisms, aligns well with the observed levels of methane in the planet's atmosphere, which is a thrilling prospect. However, amidst the enthusiasm, researchers have noted that a model of the exoplanet being a gas-abundant, uninhabitable world corresponds neatly with the observations from the JWST and might pose fewer scientific quandaries. The ocean planet hypothesis not only requires the existence of life to account for its atmospheric conditions but also faces difficulties in justifying the requisite cool surface temperatures given the potential for a runaway greenhouse effect. This raises the possibility that the planet's climate may be excessively warm for life, prompting researchers to advise that the search for extraterrestrial life on exoplanets should initially verify whether the planetary temperatures are conducive to hosting oceans. As it stands, 
Neither theoretical model flawlessly accounts for all the observed characteristics in the K2-18V spectrum. Future findings from JWST may clarify the situation, potentially revealing either ammonia, which would hint at a gas-dominated planet, or DMS, pointing more strongly towards a planet rich with water and possibly life. What are your thoughts? Could it be a water world or a gas giant? Share your opinions in the comments below.